there's something missing from the garden and it's this it's the 240 watt solar panel and it's associated a frame so I've taken that apart and now I've got the new 325 watt panel mounted on my two posts with this hinge arrangement so I've got a bolt through here uh, with a nylock so that won't come undone and two identical brackets so that you can create the perfect angle so this is the angle for winter now I would have to trim the hedge back a bit to uh, create a summer angle but in summer there's a massive surplus of electricity it's never a problem so you could have this thing at a similar angle I might tilt it up a bit more um, bracket on the other side it's identical so you don't really need to uh, see that one because it's the same as the other one and uh, it's late afternoon now so it's getting fairly dark so it's not generating much current but when I disconnected the 240 watt panel this was showing 0.4 amps and then when I connected this 325 watt panel it was showing 0.54 amps so yeah 540 milliamps you do the math uh, this did a mining session today because um, it was very overcast yesterday so it was close to being full but not quite and then today the sun came out so it sort of went yeah that'll do I'll start mining this thing apparently flashes um, after it's done a turn on and then turn off I don't know whether that was in the uh, eBay listing but anyway that's what it does so it'll just perpetually flash until the next time it uh, switches on so presumably flashing means off you can stop it flashing in fact I will if you press any button it comes on steady so it's uh, set to trigger at 28 volts so it's about 1.1 volts below the trigger point and depending on how much sun we get that could take anywhere from half a day to two or three days we haven't had much sun recently but uh, there it is I think it looks pretty neat and I've even got uh, wife approval so that's a good thing